What's going on guys, Eric Allen, owner of Top Rated MMA for episode 31. I got to speak with Colton Smith, active duty army, winner of the Ultimate Fighter 16, entrepreneur, all around good guy, awesome, awesome show. Check it out. Hey man, how are you? Good. How you doing? Very good. Hey, thank you, Colton, so much for jumping on the show today. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Glad to be here. First of all, thank you so much for your service, man, of this country. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, um, dude, so you got a fight coming up in March uh, for the title at uh, Katery, uh March 17th, right? That's right. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, again, Sean Brady, how's training camp going? Oh, it's great. You know, it's been, uh, it's been a little while since I've been in the cage because of deployments, you know, going to Afghanistan and in my current position right now at the, at the Pentagon, uh, I travel quite a bit. Uh, okay. But however, you know, I have full support of my chain of command, as always. Yeah. And uh, so training camp's been great. It's been phenomenal. I mean, just getting back in there and the ability to actually, you know, get time to train and, and hone my craft. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, I, you're on a four-fight win streak. Brady's 7-0. Uh, and oh, Man, it's going to be a war for sure. How do you see the fight playing out? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm definitely the veteran in, in this fight. Um, he's never fought anybody uh, in my caliber or fought, you know, even close to guys that I fought. But that's yeah. just not a hit on him at all. Sure. Uh, you know, talented kid. Uh, at one point, I was kind of in his his similar similar shoes, you know. And, um, you know, nothing, no fault against him. Ignorance is bliss when uh, all you've done is won. That's all you know is just winning. Um, and, you know, kudos to him. I'm glad that this fight's happening when it is for yeah. both of our careers. Uh, regardless... For him, this is a win-win. I, I think, uh, you know, he, he wins the fight, obviously, a big deal. He's probably called up to the big show to the UFC. Sure. He loses. You know, he lost to a, a four-time UFC veteran, six, uh, season 16, uh, you know, ultimate fighter winner. Yeah. And also, guys, on a four-fight win streak, and I fought some of the best in the world uh, in the cage and done very well against some of the best in the world. Um, so that's kind of how I see the fight. Uh, I, I understand that um going into going into this fight my approach is a little different more calculated i feel like i'm more of a refined fighter than i was previously yeah i feel like these last four fights uh, every fight i've gotten more and more refined and kind of well-rounded in my game and a lot of that's uh, probably attributed to the fact that i'm not a full-time fighter in fact yeah. uh, i joke about being a part-time fighter however i'm probably still putting in the same amount of hours as everyone else but i'm sacrificing a hell of a lot more because i'm you know an active duty soldier a uh, business owner a father, a husband, um, active in my church. You know, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. There's only 1,440 minutes in a day and trying to jam pack all of that and as well as a training session uh, or multiple training sessions rather, uh, you know, it's, it's a challenge, but that's kind of why I enjoy doing this and testing my mettle against individuals who their full-time job is to fight. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and kind of speak, I was going to ask you on the Ultimate Fighter. Us fans, we see it from the the show perspective, and it's very chaotic. But you being in the house, is the house just crazy chaotic the whole time you're there? Uh, it, it's not. It's not. No, no. And I wouldn't say it's fabricated. However, when there's nothing to do uh, but hang out in a house, you can't make phone calls. You can't write letters to anybody. You can't receive mail. Um, you can read the Bible yeah. or you can drink alcohol and hang out by the barbecue and talk crap to each other. And that's what a lot of guys did, obviously. Right. Sure. <laughs> uh, they didn't show it on the season, but I actually led a Bible study almost every evening. Only a few of the guys participated on my season. And I used my free time at the house to work out. I, you could find me in the backyard running sprints and doing yep. pull-ups on the rafters and stuff. So they limited how much you could actually train on the show, which was very surprising to me. Oh, okay. However, it was the first time that I ever was able to focus solely on mixed martial arts. And I feel like that's probably why I was so successful. Yeah, very nice. And by the way, that's awesome that you led a Bible study on, in the house, man. That's like the last place I think anyone would ever expect that. So that's awesome. Um, so, you I mean, you stay super, super busy. I was reading up. You are a senior instructor for Sheepdog Response with Tim Kennedy. Um, how's it working with that guy? He seems like a super cool dude. Yeah, Tim's amazing. Tim's been one of my mentors, not only in fighting, but uh, in the uniform as well as uh, in business as well. And just the ability to you know, train alongside him and also teach, instruct alongside him when I have, you know, time a lot. It's been phenomenal, especially teaching. And in this day and age, I mean, seeing how volatile this world is right now, 
Yeah. And having the ability to uh, infect change, whether it's a law enforcement officer, paramedic, or just an everyday, every average day Joe that's never served before, right. the ability to teach them life saving techniques, not only uh, saving their lives, but um, possibly an assailant's life or or one of their family members' lives with uh, what we teach them. Um, that's been that's been phenomenal, definitely yeah. in, in, invaluable. That's awesome. Um, and then you're also a board of directors for Disposal Warriors. Can you say? Can you tell me about that organization? Yeah. So uh, basically, just helping out um, uh, veterans who who uh, have fallen into hard times, um, assisting them with uh, with uh, you know everything from a meal to a home to wow. you know <clears throat> everything in between. So the ability to help out homeless veterans and get them back on their feet and point them in the right direction. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love uh, being able to work with Higher Heroes organ Higher Heroes USA's organization that we've worked with since 2012, and uh, we donate 25 percent of our profits to those guys. But I've never actually met Brian Stan, but that organization is awesome, and I love the business aspect of it. So anytime that there's you know any help going out to veterans and service members, man, it's just awesome. So thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, I was going to ask you, how did the idea of Enlisted Nine come up, and, and how did you end up working with Grunt Style? So Enlisted Nine Fight Company, uh, it was founded after one Ultimate Fighter kind of utilizing my platform uh, yeah. to kind of boost it up with uh, with the Command Sergeant Major Dan O'Brien. And I was originally going to go in with another company. Where I got the idea from was following Tim Kennedy's footsteps. You know, he's the owner of a, of a, of a, of a clothing lifestyle brand, yep. uh, partial owner of it. And I saw how successful he was and his business partners were. And I'm like, you know what? I need to find a way to leverage uh, the platform that I've had, not only uh, for monetary gain, but for the veteran community and to give a good product back. So yeah. I talked to a few clothing companies and a few wanted to, you know, wanted me to come on board and just wasn't feeling it. So Dan O'Brien and I went to a couple meetings and they didn't pan out, unfortunately. And so then we started talking like, hey, man, why don't we why don't we try something? And around the similar around the, around the time, I can't I can't really put the date on it, but around the time was the uh, second Fort Hood shooting, when that occurred. Yeah, uh, we were just getting up, just starting up. So we took uh, all the shirts we had, put them in a trunk, sold as many as we could, took all the money, all the profits, all the proceeds, and gave it to the Fisher House. Okay. And uh, when we gave it to the Fisher House, that was to help with uh, all the family family members who couldn't afford to get there or stay somewhere there. We helped the Fisher yeah. House facilitate that. Um, and that's not something we don't want to talk about a whole lot of stuff that we do as far as that goes, but we, sure. you know, we, we're very giving, um, not only to the veteran community, but just to our, you know, our, our local, lo local networks around the areas we live in. And so we realized, you know, we had something special here where we can give veterans a, a good quality product and we just kept grinding. You know, my wife, I mean, she was at the house, not getting a paycheck for a few years, wow. building this company up while Dan was doing designs and I was fighting and, you know trying to pedal shirts out of the back of my Volkswagen. Right. <laughs> and, uh, literally in places that we, we had no business getting into to sure. sell shirts because it, it wouldn't have made sense at the time. We were sitting outside selling shirts like, you know, almost like, a, you know, just pedaling shirts out there, grinding, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it started growing, growing faster and faster. I'm talking uh, floor to ceiling, two bedrooms in my house, and my wife's had a little plastic table and chair packaging orders. And people <laughs> were getting orders in like two days. People were getting orders so quick because my wow. wife was just, Brian and order would come in. It didn't matter what time was she going, she'd fulfill it, you know, right away and get, and get it out in the mail. Uh, and then our big break came, and that that's when uh, Grunt Style came down. Uh, they gave uh, a bunch of my instructors down at the combative school a bunch of shirts, and they, you know, really supported our combatives program. And then they asked me about Enlisted Nine, and they, you know, we kind of maybe plopped on their map, or maybe they saw an ad one time or something. Yeah. And I uh, started talking about our goals, our ambitions, where we saw ourselves when, uh, Kind of see if uh, maybe we were we could align as companies, and obviously they were much larger and still are. Um, sure. However, the ability to, you know, learn from from D the likes of uh, Dan Alarek and, and and the whole Grunt Style team uh, has been unbelievable. I mean, I've talked about it all the time. It could end tomorrow, um, and I could not be mad for the amount of uh, knowledge that I've learned and gained from the Grunt Style team. And we're just so blessed to be to be. Uh, attached to them, uh, partners yeah. with them and grow together. It's been a phenomenal journey and, and we're just extremely blessed. That's, that's amazing. I love, like I had Dan Alaric on the show uh, probably about a month and a half ago, man. He's such a like down to earth guy. And, yeah. uh, I've been ambassador for grunt style for a little over about, about a year and a half now. And, and, uh, love the grunt style side of things. Love the enlisted nine shirts, man. So you guys are, are doing awesome things. So really appreciate all that. dude. It's awesome. Hey, uh, do you care if we do some rapid fire questions real quick? No, go ahead. All right, man. What's your uh, favorite band or type of music? 
Uh, I like country music. Okay. Uh, no preference specific. I mean, it could be anything from old school, Hank Williams Jr., all the way up to some of the new new school stuff that's not too pop like. Yeah. Uh, but honestly, I listen to everything. I listen to absolutely everything. I mean, you go to my playlist: rap, country, rock, Come Christian. On. I mean, everything in between. Yeah. I was a, a very heavy metal guy forever, and then I worked for Universal Music, and then for about a year and a half, and they're like, "Okay, you have to listen to this," and so it kind of opened up my genre capabilities of listening to country and all that. And I'm I'm very much like you, listen to everything now. So, um, what's your favorite Olympic sport to watch in the Olympics? Or wrestling. What? Wrestling, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Who inspires I believe it's the you? Only, the oh. only Olympic sport, I believe. That's yeah, absolutely right. I mean, gosh, <laughs> how do you have like? Curling, I don't know if that's really a sport or not. I mean, <laughs> you know, my wife, that's like my wife's favorite sport to watch on the, is on the Olympics, but I don't know. <laughs> so, um, who inspires you to be successful? Uh, Dan Gable. Okay, okay. Dan Gable, the best wrestler who ever lived. Nice. Um, what's your favorite gun to shoot? Favorite gun to shoot? Uh... I like my AR. I like all my pistols. I mean, I'll carry a wheel gun sometimes. A lot of people don't carry wheel guns too much for concealed carry, but I love a wheel gun because it's how to, the dependability of it. So yeah, I'd have to say, uh, honestly, I love shooting my wheel guns. Okay, nice. Very nice. I'm out here in, in North Idaho, and it's like open carry, and you know, it's pretty safe out here because there's probably 55% of the community that actually is carrying all the time. Right. You never have to worry about it. But you go 30 miles to Spokane, they're like the most dangerous city in the state of Washington. You know, so it's uh, it's kind of interesting to be out here, but uh, love being in this area for sure. Um, last question: What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie: Vision Quest. It's a wrestling movie. You know, I, I'm boring. I'm all about wrestling. You know, yeah. and I got my boys immersed in it, and they're they're the reason why I grind so hard right now. So, my 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 two boys, uh, Mason and Hunter, okay, uh, they're five and eight years old. They wrestle. So, Vision Quest, uh, old school movie from the '80s. I yeah. love it. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, hey, I also wanted to uh, just give you an opportunity to give any shout outs to anybody that you wanted to shout out to today as well. Yeah, but first, first and foremost, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Without Him, I wouldn't be on this journey. Amen. And uh, just the ability to do everything I do and everything that's on my plate. But uh, you know, my my wife Megan's been amazing. Uh, you know, counterpart on this journey. She's not behind me. She's beside me or leading me on this uh, as a Christian, as a man, as a fighter, as a soldier, as a leader, as a father and a husband. Uh, my kids, my family for, for supporting me, my father, my mother, all my siblings, stepmom, uh, just everybody has just been phenomenal on this journey. And they're still just have my back no matter what, on the highs, the lows, everything in between. Yeah. All my training partners, my boss, my the senior listed advisor, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Command Sergeant Major John Wayne Troxel. I want to thank him for the ability to, uh, you know, not only everything he does, but um, care enough about my training and my career, my progression in the, as a non-commissioned officer as well as a fighter. Uh, it's amazing to have someone at that high level that understands um, this is a, a double-edged sword as far as, in a good way, Yeah. as far as uh, my ability to fight and just um, kind of represent the joint force in a way that it shows lethality and it shows what we're capable of as, as service members outside of the uniform and inside the uniform as well and how those can be a cohesive relationship. So I want to thank him and all the team members from OCAC and just everybody that I've had this journey with in the military. And that's awesome. Well, hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you get that win next month. And uh, keep me up to date. Thank you again, Colton, for, again, your service and being on the show. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, man. God bless. Yeah, you as well, man. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for checking out the show. Really appreciate it. Please give this video a like, share it, subscribe to the channel. Also check out topratedmma.com. Thank you for the support. Have an awesome day.